Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is the plate label and also the lollipop label. You guys did already see me do a plate label in Cricut Design Space. Uh, so what I'm going to do on this video that's a little bit different is I'm going to use my Xyron uh, Creative Station and I'm also going to use the large Dollar Tree plate. So I'm just going to put it together pretty quickly for you guys and then give you guys the measurements. Uh, the measurements that I use for the Dollar Tree plate, uh, the large plate, is going to be 6.5 by 6.5. And then the, the, the Dollar Tree lollipop that I'm using is going to be 1.5 by 1.5. I'm going to send both of these through the Xyron machine and then we will go ahead and um, assemble it so you guys can see how it works. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a circle. And I'm going to make it 6.5. I'm going to make it a print and I'm going to make it red. I'm going to add another circle. And then I'm going to make it a pattern. Print, pattern, and I'm going to make it that. I'm going to stretch this out till it's about the same size as my current circle. I did make these lines a little bit longer here, um, but this just shows you basically that you can make them whatever size you want and select these together and slice it. And then I just, you can add in your, the rest of your clip art. Okay, so now um, that this is done, I will go ahead and flatten my image. And then I will put back in my lollipop. Also, when you are finished, just make sure that you check your measurements again. Unlock it and make sure you just got 6.5 sometimes it'll switch up and same for this one yep okay so I will go ahead click make it okay I'm gonna get these both onto one page go to continue send to printer advanced options and then I will print this on cardstock Okay, so this is the lollipop that I'm going to use. It is from the Dollar Tree for um, an eight count for $1. Uh, the plates that I'm going to use are 12 for a dollar from Dollar Tree. And um, I believe the measurements are really similar to the ones that I use for the plate that I got from Target. So this is my new little baby. I did get this uh, when Joann's had the 60% off coupon. I used it at Michael's. So it ended up being about $40 instead of $109. They do have smaller ones that you can use to send something that is this small through. Um, that would probably be a little bit easier than what you're going to see me do here. The adhesive on this is on the bottom. So I'm going to send my cardstock through face down. The adhesive for this, I want to be on the back. So I'm gonna send it through face up. Okay. So once I have that in place, then you just turn. Okay, I'll flip it around so you can see what it looks like on this side as it's coming through. Uh -oh. 
think I overlapped them a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, and then you just slide this part across to cut it off. And there's like a little hole in there for your, your handle. I did overlap them a little bit, but it is quite all right. It is not gonna hurt anything. So you could stick these labels on the front or the back of your lollipop, whichever you prefer. I don't typically like covering up labels just so that people know what they're um, having. So I typically like to put things on the back. So I am in this case going to put this on the back. Now as far as my plate, all I'm going to do is just um, peel it off. Okay. And as you can see, if you look closely, how um, that adhesive looks on there. And then just find uh, like the middle of your plate and just stick it on very simply. Okay. And you see how easy that was? I mean, you guys seen that other video where I was fighting with that paper. This is like, it's gold if you want to do these plates. For the 60% off that I got it from, definitely well worth it. So I did just want to show you guys how it came out. Um, here is my lollipop right here. I did want to show you guys something. Uh, I This was my test print and I wanted to show you guys uh, basically what happened when you don't let your ink dry and you send it through the Zyron machine. I would say the course of, you know, sending it through my printer, sending it through the Cricut, and then sending it through the Xyron was probably about five minutes, but it clearly wasn't long enough as you can see. So just be mindful of that, that you do have to let it dry a little bit before sending it through the Xyron machine. If you're going to send it through face down, you do want to let it dry for a little while. So uh, again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video.